C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Portal 2. My name is Soros88 and today we are still uh, roaming around on the Aperture Science installations after they've been destroyed by time, basically. Uh, so yeah, last episode we uh, basically resurrected GLaDOS. <laughs> we resurrected our own Tormentor. So yeah, we are now trapped again with her on these installations, uh, doing test chambers, like old times. Yep. And she apparently is like building uh, the new test chambers as we speak and as we play. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. <laughs> okay. So I guess it's flight time? Woo! Really like this one. Uh, so I think I have to press the button and jump back. And try and catch this. Oh, no, I couldn't. Nope, mistime it again. Maybe I have to look a little bit down. Nope. Ah, oh, I'm not catching it. There we go. Nicely done. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. <laughs> so you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gladys definitely came back with a lot more sass on her. But I like her still. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Acres of broken glass, wow. Oh yeah, I remember the chamber. I think there's actually one easter egg that you can find if you catch the radio. Uh, I just don't remember. I love the music in this one as well. Oh, yeah. Woo! That was cool. First try, baby. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I can zoom. I just want to. Are you oh, ready sorry. to? I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Oh, I couldn't catch. Oh yeah, there it is. The old song. <laughs> now this disc uh, is actually important, I think. If I remember well, actually. Oh, here's the turret. I thought I saw a turret. I wanted to save it again. Well, try at least. Be safe here. At least you'll be alive. If that's what a life looks like. You. But the disc, I do think, 
it's important to have with me. Uh, because you can insert this on a machine, but I'm not sure if I actually can get it through the, um, you know, the disintegration grid. So let's see if we can do this. <laughs> this this chamber is not fun. before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. I know you don't see my face, but I, ju I just... I just stared like this. For a whole minute. Oh my god, Gladys is just unhinged. She's unhinged. <laughs> I didn't remember her being this. Wow, this violent, this sassy. Oh man. Let's see if we can go through with the disc. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, but if you remember in the last game actually you could use a disc to put inside some of the computers. I'm not sure if that was in the first one or it's actually in the second one and I'm just talking nonsense here. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? <laughs> I don't have a guilty conscience. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Oh, the companion cube again. I don't want him to die a second time. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Gladys, you have to stop! I know you can't see me again, but... I was just like... Oh my god! Oh, no. I killed <gasps> that one too. <gasps> oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. <laughs> She's just... Oh my god! She's not real! Oh my god! She just killed two? Now here's where the theory of the... Um, Companion Cubes gives more... Uh, gets more realistic if we put it in uh, this game's um, like context because if you remember in, in the first game I told you the theory was that uh, the people that was alive at Aperture Science, the ones that, that actually uh, were killed by GLaDOS, were stored in these companion cubes. That's why she kept mentioning that uh, the companion cubes were sentient and they could speak and all that stuff. Uh, and yeah, and, and now, since we have been here like hundreds of years, and all of the, I mean, the, the blue 
guy just told us at the beginning of the game that there were like tens of thousands of testing subjects that were just gone, like dead. And now GLaDOS is telling us that there are warehouses full of these cubes. Where this, where, where, where did these cubes come from, right? That's that's the interesting part, I think, for me. <laughs> so what did this do? Okay, okay, okay. And we can place portal here, portal here. There we go. This melody that you are hearing, like that. <laughs> the melody that you are hearing is actually uh, the theme Cara Mia Adio, which is part of the soundtrack. Just uh, pay attention to it, because it's going to have importance after in the game. <laughs> Not like narrative importance, but you'll know what I'm talking about once you hear it. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. And of course we're going to take the companion cube. was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. They are sentient, of course. You see what I'm talking about? No! <laughs> Glad as you're too cruel. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Whoa. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. Uh, yeah. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. <laughs> test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Yeah, sure. You do whatever you want. Okay.
wait, but uh, yeah, no, it's okay, it's okay. more to go. Ooh, chapter 3 already. The return. Is she done with all of the renovations? Doesn't seem to. Slowly but surely, she's starting to get it. Okay, so maybe this one goes here. This one goes here. We just go here. Hey, hey, it's me! Oh! Well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. See what happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. <laughs> mm, this plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. Just call me fat. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. <laughs> Try it now. Oh my God! Right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Okay. Thanks, Gladys. Okay, I need the cube. Where's the cube? Is the cube? Huh. Oh, okay. Okay, I have to reach that. Oop. Cube. Yeah, cube. again. Oh, I can just go right down here, right? I guess. Yep. And now we have the cube and we have to point it at that wall. Ow, ow. Over here. Now we place one here. The other one here and that opens it, but oh, okay. I have to place the portals being down there. Okay, okay, okay. Being up there, sorry. Boop. Look at you sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle piloting a blimp. Because that makes sense, of course. Of course. There we go. Nice. Where's my elevator? Thank you. Thank you. And I actually think uh, this is a good point for us to finish this video. It's going to be a shorter one. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Now that phrasing of the deer, it's 
one of the most interesting about GLaDOS. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind as well, because it's going to be uh, retouched <laughs> uh, further in the game. But yeah, I think this is a good a good spot to finish the video. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it for today's episode. Uh, I really hope you are enjoying and if you are please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel for more for more videos like this sorry about that and I'll see you in the next test chamber of portal 2 see ya